Hi guys, thank you for joining me. It's Shauna J. Ray coming back with another nail tutorial. I really like nails. I've decided to get back into nails. I found a new product that I wanted to try out and share because I've been looking into it online and on YouTube and it just seems like a really good mix of two things that seem to work. So I'm going to be showing you a kit I got online at Amazon. I will leave all links in the description below for everything that we talk about today. I'm only using, I believe, three different things from Amazon right now or two, and I'll show everything to you guys. So y'all know I've been back on my journey of doing my own nails again. I used to do them all the time in high school. Never got the hang of acrylics. Never. I tried multiple times. Um, I found gel nails. Like the simple like kit at Walmart the drugstore uh, the gel nails with the activator and that seemed to work for me for a few years and then recently I started using the dip powders the last like two years I have videos on that so y'all can um, go ahead I'll link that in the description as well if y'all want to watch those so recently in the last couple of months I've been seeing this new product on the market that looks kind of acrylic like but is a gel and kind of acts like a gel but it's thicker it's weird to explain I will show you guys here today what I have so I bought a kit to try very inexpensive comes with just about everything you will need as far as I'm concerned it's a great starter kit comes with everything you'd need to do poly gel nails in general now obviously you know there are other things out there people might find that it worked better for them for using different things but this is the starter kit First, we'll start with the actual poly gel things that you receive. the nail slip solution you receive four poly gels you receive a top coat and a base coat then to actually harden the material for the poly gel you need a lamp so it actually comes with the kit this is a USB charging LED nail lamp for your hands it has three settings it has 60 seconds, 90 seconds, and 120 seconds. And this one fits your whole hand and is portable. Then they give you an array of tools that you will need for actually utilizing the poly gel itself. So normal nail products, nail, nail tools that you'll need like brushes and files. So it comes with two files. the actual nail brush and a spatula. You'll get a pair of tweezers. You will get a dusting brush and a little, a little tub for you to put your slip solution in. You'll also get a little cuticle oil uh, dispenser stick. They give you a nail clipper, I needed a new one of these, and a cuticle cutter, I believe this is called, where you can, or cuticle fork, where you just peel off your cuticle like that. They also give you toe finger separators, shaped like a little heart. Also to work with the nails, you need nail cleaner and they give you packets of nail cleaner and packets of acetone prep pads for you to clean off the nail and nail polish, um, remove nail polish and everything like that. I don't know if I mentioned before, but this brand is called, I, I hope I'm saying it correctly, it looks like it says Cosilia. So this whole brand, everything is labeled Cosilia. Also, that comes, it also comes with a few things to actually decorate your nails, but it comes with some stickers, two different types of nail gems. You have some regular silver ones on um, a bag of silver ones, and then you have multicolored, multi-shaped 
other um, gems as well. Then it also comes with five different colored uh, nail foils for you to decorate your nail as well. They are they all they do come at random. The colors I got were like a purple fuchsia, silver, blue, green, and gold. And last but not least, in this kit is included are the dual forms. They are a different way for you to actually. Uh, form the nail onto yours uh, instead of using the sculpting technique or tips they would you would put the poly the poly gel inside of the nail form smooth it out press it onto the nail cure it into the lamp and then you'll get your full nail but I'm not going to be using these today um, I might try these a different a different day or maybe try these I don't know like a tiny set on Leilani or something like that um, but I'm not going to be using these today. Something else I got on on Amazon was were these butterfly nail form. I'm going to be attempting to use these today. I have tried my hand at them before. I wasn't very good at it, but I'm going to try again. I did do some digging on YouTube and found an amazing video on how to properly use nail forms by the Nail Hub, and I will link that video that I watched. It's very long, but it's quite informative um, on how I'm going to attach these. So hopefully I'm doing it right. Hopefully, you know, I took away what I thought in that video. These are also from Amazon. I will link these in the description box below. So I'm gonna take my time and I'm going to do a full set of nails. I'm going to be using uh, the pink color. I might do, I wanted to do clear, but I might do the clearish pink color uh, and see how that works out. I'm sorry, I didn't go over the colors that you get with this particular kit. You do get four t different colors. They are not labeled. So I went ahead and um, figured out a way for me to keep it together. It does come numbered. Mine came numbered. 001, 005, 007, 008. So you get the color clear, the color white, the color uh, like a clearish pink, and then you get like an opaque bright pink color. Okay, let's get started. The nice thing about this LED lamp being USB chargeable, it makes it portable because I can just hook it up to my power bank and there are sensors in it and it turns right on. So it's portable and it has like a little battery charger situation right now so I can leave that to the side so you're going to need to take your tub for your slip solution put it to the side I have my forms ready for me all right so I first start with my prep the prep is the most important part to any set of nails that way they last longer and stay on uh, much better so you don't have lifting and that sort of thing which can lead to other problems so i start by filing the nail bed itself and shaping the actual nail so that way when it grows out it grows out more even and then i like to push down the cuticles to make sure we get i forget what it's called that little piece of film that happens when you push down your cuticles make sure you have all that pushed down and, and cleaned off. Now I don't do this every time I do my nails, but sometimes I do like to take away the cuticle. And so you could just do that by using the other end of the fork. And you have to be very, very careful because you can cut yourself with these and it can mess you up. So I just dust off my nails with the brush after all that. And it actually comes, this kit actually comes with the nail prep pads. So I do go ahead and wipe them off with that or you can just use nail polish remover and whatever works for you for that just to make sure the nail bed is clean now i use a nail primer that i got from a different pack and i just coat my nails with that and then i go over them with the base coat the gel base coat i heard you can use basically any gel base coat uh however you know obviously some are better than others the one that comes with this has worked the best and i've tried a different gel coat with uh, this product and it didn't stay on as long but this is supposed to be for their stuff, so that would make sense. And just like you're about to paint your nails, you're going to cure it in the lamp for about 30 to 60 seconds. Then I use about half a bowl of slip solution, and this will be evaporate, so just be mindful of that. Next, you just get out the form. 
these forms I'm gonna leave in the description uh, what I use to understand how to put the form on but you want to put that sticker underneath for stabilization and cut that so that you can actually shape it to the size of your hand and everything like that and based on what type of shape you want you will actually shape the form differently for each type of nail shape uh, So this is a really, really easy process with the poly gel. Uh, it does take some getting used to the amount you need, but you do want to start off with just a small dollop just to get what I like to call like the base of the uh, nail that you're trying to shape done. So I start off with like a little dollop or ball uh, at the end of the spatula and just take it off the top of the poly gel and dab it onto the middle of the nail. And then you can go from there shaping the nail based on, even if you had like a tip on it, you would just be dragging it down. And I like to do like a thin coat on the nail. I shaped these nails, I think to the level three to make sure that, you know, it was short enough for me to deal with at first. And I just kept smoothing it out. You do wanna be careful of the cuticle area you do want to smooth it flat and thin right around the edge where the cuticle starts so it makes it look more natural like it's actually growing out of your nail and then you want to pull all of that uh, all of that poly gel upwards and to the length that you desire and I just pat around the edges to make sure everything stays nice and flat and straight anything that you know gets out of hand don't worry about it you will be able to shape that later on with the file if it you know the shape the shape or size is difficult looking but another reason you want to start off with a small thin amount for your base is because the poly gel with the more opaque uh, ones like the white and the nude those take a little bit longer to cure because they do have more pigment in them versus one like the clear or this clear pink that I have in them poly gel is actually really really strong so as as long as your actual nail bed area is a good thickness the nail will stay on a lot better the edge of the nail won't break very easily as, and make sure it's also fully cured you do want to give at minimum 60 seconds I do that for all of the poly gel and the white and the nude can take um, even 120 seconds or 90 seconds I'm sorry um, but yeah you just keep curing it again uh, also you want to make sure you build up the apex even a little bit for those nails so this one I don't have any type of apex built up it's just simply flat on my nail bed all the way out to the nail I think I did go back later and use a little bit more in the middle to build an apex up so when you take off the file I like to pinch the bottom and pull it down it should just pull right off but be careful and do this slow just to make sure all the poly gel has cured because it can uh, stick to your file your form and so this is a very thin nail there's no apex built up but like I said it's very strong just like regular acrylic just be careful uh, if you make them this thin that they don't snap off the actual cuticle but with my priming and filing and everything the nail stayed on very well I believe this set lasted me about three weeks So to build up the apex and make it thicker around the nail bed to give it more stability and everything, I did go back in with a similar size dollop and I like to put it right into the center of the nail bed area where I want the apex to be and then I smooth it around the edges. And if you just make sure you pull a little bit to the cuticle, that way you don't get that thickness around the cuticle, make sure it does not touch the cuticle. The brush is made where you can actually just take the edge of it and glide it around the edge 
edge to kind of separate it like I'm doing here to make sure it doesn't touch so you don't get lifting afterwards. Those are little tweaks that you can make sure your nails stay on a little bit longer. But I'm just pulling the, the poly gel down and then the same goes for the edge except instead of pulling it down like I did to make the full nail to keep the apex that way, I just leave that hump there there's the apex and then I just pull from the edge of that bead to the end of the nail until it's smooth and you can't see the you know the crease in it anymore and everything is lined up nicely So the kit also comes with some cleanser pads. The poly gel does get a little bit tacky at the top once you've cured it. So you want to do this before you file it, making it easier to file and giving you a good basis point to start from. And then you won't have a, that sticky residue on your file. Then just make sure you get all the bases covered for filing the nail into the shape that you want. Fix any nicks or bumps. Uh, make sure you watch out for the edges if there's no poly gel there so you don't have breakage later. And just file away. Make sure you file the top so it's nice and smooth for the top coat application. One of the last steps is to add top coat across the poly gel nail. Now, depending on what I'm doing with my nails, I'll add top coat and then go from there. But if I'm adding something like nail polish or whatever, I'll add base coat and this step and then paint my nail as I normally would and then the top coat on top of that but I'm just going to be adding a few gemstones, so I'm gonna go ahead and top coat it right now, and then I'll add the gem. I wanted to show more of me actually adding the gemstones, but I'll just explain briefly. I took the top coat that came with the packaging because I didn't have the Builder Gel at the time, but Builder Gel will make a stronger foundation for gems, and I just put it down in the pattern that I wanted the gems to be on and then the tweezers actually came with the kit so I just picked them up and placed them where I wanted them to go. You can look on Instagram for inspiration on different ways to gem your nails and I just added the top coat and then I cured it for 30 to 60 seconds under the nail lamp and this actually lasted me a very very long time because I guess I set it down really well. I think I did go back over with another layer of top coat, top coat as well but this actually worked very well I can't wait to actually get the builder gel for it to stay even better okay guys I'm finished now all I have to do is put my cuticle oil conditioner on so it comes with this cute little pen I just have to pump it up to get all the product up and out so I want to tell you guys how I feel about the product because it was a first time, you know, first impressions, little review that I wanted to do on this kit. Really inexpensive. I only paid $30 for it. Um, it came with a whole bunch of stuff. 
and I was really pleased I was able to do a little bit of everything with my nails I love the way it came out I love the color everything it was really easy to work with it does have an, a learning curve so uh, I'm not used to working with acrylic generally but I am used to painting on the the gel for the dip set nails or the gel set nails uh, so you know working with the lamp was also really easy however this lamp only has a few uh, LED lights so you do have to be careful when you're curing you have to kind of make sure there's adequate light on the nail because there's not enough under there if you have a better light than this or if you're willing to buy another light then that's that's great you'll have better um, it'll cure faster otherwise it just takes a little bit longer and you kind of have to twist your finger in there at least that's what I did and everything cured pretty even pretty evenly so I'm happy with that um, I probably won't be investing in a new lamp anytime soon that's fine uh, because I just started so I'm really happy with it I'm really pleased to finally be able to do something with uh, sculpted nails because this is a thousand times better than tips like I said the learning curve is there but once you get past that small learning curve and plus filing you know the filing part is forgiving so you have to remember that as well so just because because this hand as y'all saw before I filed it it was fine you know it just needed cleaning up this hand before I filed it was completely trash it had lumps and bumps everywhere because I am right-handed so I wasn't able to get the material on properly so I had to go back over it and file it down but again it's very forgiving it looks the same once I filed everything down I'm very pleased with it it feels very durable not to mention um, I, for my understanding this C shape this deep C shape makes your nails very strong because you do have that reinforcement on the side but it feels just as t as strong as acrylic um i didn't do these super long but i might build them up later another time but for now this is like the perfect length i hope these last so i will definitely um try and come back with an update uh when i do the fill i will do a video on the fill and i'll do when i do the video on a fill i'll do the video on doing different gym sets and things like that because my other camera my overhead camera did die before I was able to actually finish all the different designs that I put on my nails today but you know I'll try some other things next time and give you all something else to work with so thank you for joining me thank you for watching my video if you liked it make sure you like comment and subscribe and please share this on social media if you really liked it and I appreciate you guys bye